So, ladies and gentlemen, the last two, three days I had made videos on transit of Venus, direct Venus and Jupiter re-entering Sagittarius and you loved those videos and appreciated them, but I did not make the video on the main boss. Yes, who is the main boss when it comes to transits? It is none other than Saturn himself, Shani Maharaj, the most dreaded feared planet in astrology even more feared than rahu <laughs> so saturn is also retrograde now in the sign of capricorn and i made a video long back but this video which i will speak now will be um, after the realizations that i have had myself and after hearing from all of you about what effects this uh, retrogression has had, especially when it comes to uh, your career. Mm -hmm. Career, 10th house is Capricorn. It's finally the sign of Saturn's own. It's like his own territory, right? Aquarius is the Multricore and Libra is Exhortation. And it's very interesting that Jupiter is also currently here. Okay. Of course, Jupiter is going to leave soon by 30th of June. And then by end of this year, both will be back again into Capricorn. So that will be an interesting time. All right. So what is Capricorn basically? Capricorn is representing those things which you don't like. Capricorn represents uh, those things which you have to master, even if you uh, don't want to even look at them, even if you absolutely hate them. So wherever Capricorn is in your birth chart, depending on your ascendant, you might get a feeling that there's something which you need to do or there is some commitment which you need to maintain. Why, why do I use this word commitment? Because, see, uh, this is a very big uh, secret of astrology. You can use it. It works. It, it may not work at a predictive level, but to understand the nature of a planet and a house and in which area will the horoscope go, uh, it works actually. Okay. So wh wh what is this uh, principle? You see... Where does a planet get exalted? Okay, so for example, Saturn, where does he get exalted? He gets exalted in Libra. Mm -hmm, Libra. But what is Libra basically? Libra is representing the sign of a, a sign of negotiation. Mm -hmm. So what, what negotiation is like uh, making a contract. So it's like a win probable win-win situation. And as they say that the best negotiation is when both the parties leave the table with some dissatisfaction. That's the best negotiation. So, so this sense of dissatisfaction is there in Libra. Dissatisfaction doesn't mean unhappiness, but uh, something which you want, but you don't get unless you do something which they want. That's what Libra is. So that same energy is uh, multiplied actually. You know, this uh, Saturn's energy of Capricorn is multiplied in Libra. Okay? So many times people think, oh, my Saturn is exalted. I will have great results in the Dasha. Well, 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 you will have. But maybe you might have to do uh, a lot of work. And only after that, you still get a pinch. And then you say, oh, yes, I made the perfect deal actually. So... Like I said yesterday also in my uh, the, this Jupiter's video that an exalted planet can be very challenging if the overall chart does not um, support the energy of that uh, planet. Okay, So therefore, uh, next time when you see an exalted planet, uh, don't, uh, don't start getting goosebumps okay? uh, because it might be a very big curse in somebody's chart. And it might be a very great blessing. Okay. So therefore, uh, this, this energy of Capricorn, so it's like Saturn, which represents things that you don't like, gets exalted in Libra. Okay, so it's like 
uh, the deal is so tough that you uh, end up getting a lot of pains from yourself and the other party also gets a lot of pains. So it's like saying you got a good deal. Mm -hmm. So therefore, wherever Capricorn is, you might feel that there are things which you uh, need to do. So Capricorn has a tendency to force things. Okay. So um, the benefits are like you are doing out of free will, okay? Like Jupiter, Venus, like Taurus, and especially signs like uh, Sagittarius. These are like signs where uh, the, you can do things out of your free will, okay? O of course, there, there are problems there also. No, no sign is uh, without any free will. Like Libra also has some pinch there, okay? But in general, the benefic signs, they, uh, they give you an option. Okay, sir, uh, madam, you want to do this, you can do this. If you do this, you will get this. If you don't want, then it's up to you. But then there are signs like Capricorn. Aha, uh -huh. Capricorn doesn't spare anybody. Capricorn says, you must do it. Either you like it or you don't. I won't give you free will. <laughs> the free will is always there. Uh, but... It's not what you think, okay? Free will is not a competitor to destiny. Free will represents uh, the response to your destiny. So suppose uh, as per destiny, you've got some hard work to do. So how do you respond? Hmm? Do you face that challenge or do you run away from it? So that free will is the response to your destiny and that response to your destiny creates for their destiny. So people say, oh, what about my future destiny? That's how you create your future destiny. All right, so it's like uh, climbing a mountain. When you climb one, two, three, suppose you come down, then you again climb up, down, up, down. So till the time you reach the peak, you should not stop, okay? So therefore, what does it mean currently in transit? Many of you have told me that uh, you have had a lot of issues in career, and I'm not talking because of this corona pandemic stuff. That is like uh, an icing on the cake, okay? So do not misunderstand this transit of Saturn in link to coronavirus, okay? Now, of course, that's pretty, uh, that's very true in one sense. But as I said, that's the icing. Uh, it's like the tip of the iceberg, okay? So the most important thing uh, you have been telling me is, you see, during this time, uh, so Saturn will be there for another two and a half years in Capricorn. So this is the first retrogression in Capricorn. So therefore, this is like a time where you get to decide what do you want to do in your life, in your career. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Because now is the time that, see, if you, if you are doing some work which you absolutely hate, and when I say work, I don't specifically mean sources of money. See, 10th house is very different, actually. The houses of money are 2nd, 6th, 10th, and 11th. But 10th house is a very special house within these four. 10th house uh, is that house which gives you recognition. Okay. Now, what is recognition? Recognition means people are recognizing you. But then why do people recognize you? Have you asked this question why? Because... You have made an impact in their lives. They have been benefited by you. So sometimes people ask that I have a planet in 6th or 11th or 2nd and I have a planet in 10th. Will all these four give me money? Well, of course, they will give you. But then uh, what's the difference? You know, What do you mean when you say you have a planet in 10th house or you have a planet in 6th house? If you have a planet in 6th house, it can show that... There are certain things which you are doing just to fulfill because uh, sixth house is the digestive uh, part of the body. So anything that you do just to feed yourself, mm -hmm. all right, feeding, food, um, that is actually the sixth house. Okay, so if you feel that you are just working to maintain your family, maintain yourself, so it's all the sixth house. But if you feel that there is some area in your life or there is something in this world which needs improvement, there is an area in people's lives where you can make an impact. Not that you will, 
you might or you want to make an impact okay well, you will or not that secondary but you want to impact or you think that you can impact positively that is the 10th house so that is the sign of capricorn so capricorn gives you a lot of recognition and name and fame but the thing is you have to make an impact in people's lives okay but the but the problem is uh, how do how do you make an impact if uh, you have not made an impact in your life so the key to master this transit is to understand that there are a lot of challenges which you will face in life inevitably which means uh, either you want or not the scriptures say that uh, karma comes okay so for example uh, even if you how many how many of you uh, watching this video write it down in the comments how many of you have ever willingly prayed to god you know oh god you know life's too good please give me some suffering there's not one sane human being who has done that. Actually, there is one, you know, who is that? Yes, she is uh, none other than uh, Kunti Devi herself. She prays to Lord Krishna in Srimad Bhagavatam. First canto, you can read her prayers. You know, uh, prayers of Queen Kunti, where she prays, you know, uh, that, Oh Krishna, we had this fratricidal war and we lost everything, you know except um, the pandavas nobody remained i mean literally almost everybody perished uh, i mean apart from parikshit and draupadi and the pandavas and uh, how many a handful of warriors remaining in kurukshetra but the good thing was when these terrible calamities were going on you krishna you were always there with us so what a great fortune that was and look at our situation now everything is over we have won the war yudhishthir maharaj is coronated has been coronated as the emperor of the entire world and all all the great personalities of this universe they are coming and offering salute to him because of his greatness but this is such a big misfortune why because now that everything is fine in our life we uh, you have decided to now go back to dwarka okay krishna said yes things are good now i am i am moving out from here so yes queen kunti is the only one who has done it and that is why she is in such an exalted state that she is there in the shrimad bhagavatam no character will be there in shrimad bhagavatam's pages just like that she is of that stature that is why she is there that is why she deserves to be there okay but in general i am saying have you heard anybody saying yes um, you will never find anybody but the 10th house can give you this power to have compassion on others and to want to take difficulties uh, voluntarily so my guru always used to say that either you like or you don't good things and bad things will come to you automatically by your karma of course you have to work that's different but if at all you know that there are challenges which are going to come in life then why not take up those challenges which you will enjoy eventually in the long run okay so this means that <clears throat> you anyways have to struggle you have a stomach you you have a second house which is you have to eat something then you have sixth house you have your belly Okay. so you have to eat something you have to maintain your body your belly your family your self or your mind or whatever <laughs> then why not do something which you actually like why not do something which you actually enjoy why not make an impact in lives of people in that area of life okay so therefore it's very crucial that the next three years for every single living being human being at least in this world is the most crucial foundational phase for your career okay career or what what kind of an impact do you want to make in other people's life what is that which uh, you think you have in yourself because of which people say that oh yeah i like this in that person and this person is doing so much good work regarding that regarding this all right so i also want to develop this quality 
because many times people uh, don't understand what dharma karma dipati yoga is dharma karma dipati yoga means the ninth house and 10th house are somehow linked but why 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 is it the 10th house ninth house we understand dharma is there 10th house is okay karma but why why these two together because when the ninth house and 10th house uh, are linked somehow then what happens the thing related to the ninth house becomes a source of inspiration for others to follow so that is why this person becomes a spiritual leader actually because that which the 10th house signifies can inspire other people to improve that within themselves that's what capricorn is actually and therefore during these three years i would uh, strongly urge everybody each and every one of you if you are in some kind of career which you do not like which you call as career again which is the sixth house actually not tenth house okay why sixth house because you are just feeding your belly or you are paying the bills which is necessary i am not saying that's not required i am not saying that all right but what i mean to say here is that at least you can try to figure out what is that which uh, you are good at where you can make an impact in this world okay once you do that then what what you can do is you can start devoting some time in the uh, weekends okay. like for example i was doing my masters here in gottingen university but then i thought uh, why not open a channel and uh, uh, share some uh, knowledge on bhagavad gita and uh, astrology so then what i used to do is every day uh, 20 minutes 20 to 25 minutes that's the average length of my videos 15 to 25 minutes so i decided every day half an hour i will invest in making a video so like that till now i have uh, uploaded around 1000 or 1100 videos and uh, there has been 50000 subscribers but that's not the point the point is you may not upload every day you may not have a youtube channel but there is something you can do every day so you should take a resolution for the next two two and a half years till the time saturn is in um, capricorn that i will um, i will do something which i like and i will make an impact in lives of people in that area okay because now saturn is the planet which rules capricorn he is transiting capricorn so it is like that energy is getting reinforced okay imagine uh, imagine a, a planet sitting in own sign is considered to be like the king or not own sign uh, but uh, exaltation or multi con also i mean very very good positions so now uh, saturn has come back to his own house so therefore saturn can feel as if yes now so now the good thing is whenever you decide to do this then you will get an opportunity to actually do that with lot of discipline the 10th house is the house of discipline also it's the house of commitment okay so therefore now is the time that you take a resolution yesterday i spoke on jupiter and i said on sagittarius you should take a commitment uh, to improve your spiritual life so the same thing i'm telling you today that the next three years is very crucial. I mean, uh, most of you uh, may be in your 20s, 30s, 40s, or some of them in 50s, 60s. I mean, uh, I hope everybody gets to see the next transit of Saturn in Capricorn. But many of us uh, may not live to see that day. Who knows? Okay. I mean, we may not live to see tomorrow also. Or uh, maybe uh, you are seeing this video and uh, maybe I am not there one day. Who knows? You may, may not be there. <laughs> <laughs> okay so the thing is our time is very limited so instead of wasting our time uh, in all these things you know like uh, all the useless rubbish garbage of this world that like watching news and many 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 times from last 15 days especially after the these happenings which has happened in US and in India Many of you have told me your minds are disturbed and you know, it's like uh, you feel the world is going to end. It's so terrible. People are dying. People are killing each other. You know, all this crap which is happening. So my sincere request is that please limit your uh, time which comes to news. Okay, because 
news is basically what it is uh, i mean it's the same old garbage repeating again and again if you really want to change the world first change yourself only then you can because why are you watching news because you have uh, i mean uh, you may feel that oh i need to make a positive impact in somebody's life life so i first need to know what is going on right but for that you must make an impact in your life so first change yourself then you can change society if you are only not um, strict with yourself if you only don't have discipline you are not doing things regularly in a committed fashion because then you cannot make an impact in others lives because you yourself are hollow then all these problems which you keep seeing in news you know like somebody committed suicide recently so um, but then um, temporarily everybody can say oh uh, you know just talk if you are feeling lonely you are feeling depressed talk 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 but but at a deeper level that will not solve the problem because people they are losing their uh, spiritual identity they are identifying more and more with materialistic objects and because of this even though they have millions of followers you know lots of money lots of superficial friends but they don't have a spiritual connection and then they don't feel a reason to carry on in this life okay and this is why they feel it's better to end their lives whoever that person is uh, whoever they are or uh, i keep getting news that uh, by next year uh, maybe these many number of people will commit suicides daily okay so if you want to change the world uh, it's very good but you have to first change yourself if you cannot change yourself how will you change others <laughs> because see people can see what people will only trust you if your words and actions match okay if your words and actions do not match then people won't trust you in the long run because you can fool uh, everybody for some time and you, you can fool somebody for all time but you cannot fool everybody for all time right it's not possible so if you want that you make some uh, positive contribution then you must contribute to yourself first have a good lifestyle have a disciplined life uh, do spiritual practices in the morning do things that you like like as i gave my own example i used to invest 20 to 30 minutes every day till now i'm doing that it's it's almost 20 25 minutes i'm still making this video you see so the thing is uh, i'm just giving my example to show that if i can do something then you can also at least try many times people tell me oh i'm lazy i don't have time at least you do for one minute you like to play the guitar you play you no uh, like to sing you sing at least for 1 minute 30 seconds 10 seconds just do it all right so then gradually you will be able to do it step wise and in a long run you will be able to do it consistently and because of that uh, people will want to take help from you take guidance from you uh, take uh, take your advice seriously basically otherwise what's the use i mean if you cannot benefit anybody right uh, either materially or spiritually at, at least if not spiritually at least uh, try to benefit people materially then if you are a atheist or you don't have any spiritual inclination all right because uh, then uh, you uh, will really feel that happiness inside your heart you will not need anything of this world that satisfaction which you get when you see that you are able to transform somebody's life in a positive way that is the greatest greatest <laughs> uh feeling ever that you will get okay you won't get that feeling by getting anything material of this world nothing of this world can replace that all right so uh focus on things that you love and have a disciplined life eat good food vegetarian food uh give up eating meat and drinking smoking all this crap watching useless stuff in the internet and do more spiritual practices and have a disciplined life okay where you dedicate yourself completely and then you can make an impact in lives of other people all right thank you very much uh, if you are new to the channel then please subscribe and if you want to see other videos on saturn i'll put it here all right what is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and if you want a consultation from me please go down to the description section okay thank you very much